Hey everyone, welcome, I am Mr. Bow, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a brand new exotic chess piece for the Warlock that was introduced into Destiny 2's Warmind. So that is the Sanguine Alchemy, and it can drop for you from exotic engrams. So let's take a look at this thing. Firstly, the description reads, there is power in blood. Now the exotic perk on this chess piece is Heightened Senses. Standing in the rift grants an enhanced radar and marks high priority targets for you and your allies. This also then comes with a mobility enhancement or a recovery enhancement. Now on screen you'll be seeing gameplay of this chess piece in action. You can see I put a rift down and then my radar enhances so I got a lot more segments in it. And then you can see that the cabal leader has this sort of little logo on him which is marking him as a priority target for me and the allies around me. Now I'm not sure which is the most unuseful exotic, this or the Wings of Sacred Dawn. This thing is pretty much, in my opinion, completely pointless. For one, that radar perk isn't the best thing to have, especially if you've got a stand in your rift. That's not really when you want a radar like that. Plus, I believe the hunters have a perk like this on either their subclass or on one of their exotic pieces that actually gives them this the whole time. Now while this isn't the most useful exotic in PvE, I do feel this has maybe some use in PvP. Now obviously in competitive multiplayer you don't have a radar so you won't have the enhanced radar perk active when you're standing in your rift. If you're not playing in comp and you're playing in quick play, you'll obviously have that and that might come in handy. But I think the high priority target does come in handy in PvP, both in quick play and in competitive. Firstly, in competitive, the fact that no one has a radar and the fact that you can actually work out where someone is by standing in your rift, it'll pop a high priority target if they're nearby. You can probably predict if someone's coming around a wall and start pre-firing on them. So I think this, if you're gonna be using it, is more likely to be used in PvP and probably more likely in competitive. If you want that occasion where you can actually see where someone on the other team is in countdown, even in survival, if there's maybe a few people left, it might come in pretty handy there. However, with all that aside, there is a lore tab, so let's take a look at that. Now it reads, When you were mortal, your power lay in your blood. When you felt joy, it swelled within you. Your body and mind were clear and light. When you felt passion, it coursed within you. Senses sharp, everything crisp. And when you felt anger, it felt as if the blood would overtake you. Rest control from thought, from reason. But that was early on. You have learned control in all those things. You could call on it. Your mind is strong. But now a new power courses through your veins, through flesh, through bone, it suffuses all that you are. So now the blood calls to you. Are you strong enough? So that is the Sanguine Alchemy Warlock Exotic Chest Armor. With that description and that lore tab, you'd have thought it'd been something for Devour. Maybe you get some sort of extra Devour perk. But no, unfortunately, it is a pretty useless exotic. But let me know what you guys think on this. Do you have this chest piece? Do you want it for the perk? Do you think that perk is useful at all? Do let me know in the comments below. Is it going to be useful in some way that I haven't thought of? Maybe for a certain encounter? I know the high priority target thing can come in useful in PvP. You can tag someone, stand in your rift, and then see basically where they're moving around. Might be useful in competitive. Obviously, you don't have a radar in competitive, so the enhanced radar isn't going to count there. But let me know if there are any other kind of situations that this perk might come in handy. But with that, that is the Sanguine Alchemy Exotic Warlock Chest Armor. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give the like button a big old hug, subscribe for more gaming content and coverage, boop that bell to be notified when my future videos go live. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.